Welcome. In this tutorial, you're going to be learning how to make use of VLOOKUP and HLOOKUP. VLOOKUP is vertical lookup and HLOOKUP is horizontal lookup. What is the difference? You're going to achieve the same results with them. It all depends on the arrangement or the structure of your data. We're going to see an example of how to use VLOOKUP and HLOOKUP to uh, know the grade of the student. Is it A, B, C, D, E, or F? Already we know what their score is. Their score is the summation of the tests and the exam. Give us the total score over 100. I want to know, this person that scored 66, is the person, the person's grade, is it A, B, C, D, E, or F? So, manually what you have done is this, oh, 66, then you look at the range, the table, oh, 66 is between 60 and 69, though that is B, right? And you look at 53, oh, 53 is between 50 and um, uh, 59. Oh, you still get through the results, but that is hard work. That is why you have a tool like Microsoft Excel that will help you to work smart and get your result fast. Imagine you have 1,000 pupils, student to deal with. You have 10,000 to deal with. You can just use your VLOOKUP to look up the grade, and that will save you time. In VLOOKUP, you have what we call the lookup table, right? And we have what we call the lookup value. So let me show you. You go to formulas, formulas. Then you have the lookup and reference. Go to VLOOKUP, right? I'm going to explain. Though I'm not going to be using this function argument, but I just want to explain the structure, what VLOOKUP is made of. It means vertical lookup, okay? So we have the lookup value and we have the table array. So that table array is your lookup table. Then you have the column index number and you have the range lookup. Now, what we want to do now is to know the grade of this Ayotunde Adekola the grade. It's the score is statistics. We want to know the grade. So our lookup value now will, is going to be what? The 66. This cell cell D2 that contains the score, right? And our table array will be our lookup table. Then we have the column index number. Now, so let's look at this. For us to, the first thing is to structure our lookup uh, table. Now, we have from 0 to 39 is F. What you are going to do is, you are going to, let me just add a, insert uh, a columns here, so that uh, we have it here. So, so what you do is this. You are going to pick the lower limits. The lower limit is zero, the upper is 39. So we are going to pick zero here. That is one. Two, for 40 to 44, you are going to also pick the what? The lower limit, which is what? 40. 45 to 49, the lower limit is 45. 50 to 59, the lower limit is 50. 60 to 69, the lower limit is 60. And 70 to 100, the lower limit is 70. So fine. The grade remains, I can copy the grade. And just put it here right so this will not be our lookup table that the system is going to return this will be our lookup table now so let's use the lookup now to look up this table and be able to return the grade we'll look use it to look up and be able to return the grade okay now so let's go so VLOOKUP, like I said, is vertical, so it's going to check by column. 
So, and what it does is to look up value from the left to the right. Okay, from left to right. So, equal to VLOOKUP. Equal to VLOOKUP. So, the first thing is a lookup value. What is the lookup value? We want to look up this score. So, we reference that. That is the lookup value, the value. We want to look up. Okay. Now, the table array, so it's the table that contains the information we are looking for, and that is also your lookup table. So we are going to reference this, okay? We are going to reference this. So just select this array. Okay, so the next thing now is put a comma. So we're going to lock this because if we don't lock it, it's going to work for the first time. But either you copy that, it's going to... Uh, there will be a problem because the range is not will not be properly captured. So I'm going to use function uh, F4 to unlock it. Just press your F4 key once. Fine, comma. Now the next thing is this: What is the column index number? You know, we said it looks up from left to right. So and this column index number is related to the uh, table area. So by the time you know your table area, just count the numbers of column in that table area. And this is our table area. This is our table area. So how many columns? We have column 1 and we have column 2. So we have just two columns. But the result we want to return is in what column? We want to return the grade, right? Is in what column? It is in column two. If it's in uh, column three, we'll pick three. So we just put three here. Then I can stop here. So this is what we call approximate smash. An approximate smash, oh, this should be two rather. An approximate smash, because it is column two. One, two. We have the grade. Approximate smash. We either take one or two or nothing. So because the default is approximate. So I might decide not to put to stop here, it will work. And if I decide to put a comma and put two, that is approximate match, it will still work. Okay, so let's see that. So if I come here and I hit my enter key, can you see it has returned B? And if I adjust the same formula, I put a comma and I pick approximate, which is true, right, and enter, it will still give me the same result because the default of VLOOKUP is approximate smash. Okay, so now I can copy this formula down. So just double click. So now I know the grade of the students. The people that score A, B, of, of course, 79 is A, right, based on our lookup table. Of course, 66 is B. 53 is C, 13 is F. Without stress, you already know the grade of the student. Just within uh, one minute, you determine their grade using the V lookup. You can also use what we call the logical function, like the nested if. If. And um, uh, the uh, ifs function to determine this. But this is just straightforward using the VLOOKUP. Now, there are situations where the uh, lookup table or the table array might not be arranged vertically. You know, this one is arranged vertically. That is why we are using VLOOKUP. But when it is arranged horizontally, look at it in rows, we use HLOOKUP. Get that. This is arranged vertically by column. Okay? We use VLOOKUP. But when it is arranged horizontally, we use HLOOKUP, horizontal lookup. That means it's arranged by row. Okay, so now we cannot use VLOOKUP here because it will not be looking up by column. You are not going to be counting columns. You are going to be counting rows. And you will discover that the difference between the VLOOKUP and the HLOOKUP formula is the, for the VLOOKUP, we have the column index number. And for the HLOOKUP, what we are going to be seeing is the row index number. So let me just show you that. Uh, this is HLOOKUP. So can you see? 
this is local value table array row index number that is the difference now if i go to my view lookup also i've used it recently can you see table lookup value table array column index number that is what the uh difference between the column index number is the difference between the view lookup and the h lookup which is your row index number so let's do this now so when we are constructing our lookup table now what we are going to do is we are going to construct it by row horizontally so the lower limit is what zero 40 to 44 is 40 45 to 49 is 45 50 to 59 is 50 60 to 69 is 60 and 70 to 100 is 70 okay so this is a lower limit in that range now so let me just give this grade ctrl c and paste it here so we have our lookup table or what we call table array right we have our lookup table or the table array so now we are going to look up the grade using the h lookup now so equal to h lookup all right fine the lookup value will still be this the d2 which is a score comma then we have the table array just just select the table array and lock the array using f4 key comma then the roll index number now will be row one and two remember this it's related to the table array the roll index number is related to the table array the table you selected as your table array is what you will count okay so one and two so because the grade is on column uh, row two we are going to put two there the uh the role or column index number as the case may be is related to the table array please note that fine so the default is approximate too but if i put a comma i can also pick true which is approximate so just and enter fine that is a lookup so we've been able to determine just double click and now we have our grade without stress so teachers can maximize this to be able to know what the grade of the student is without any stretch i hope you've been able to gain one or two things from this tutorial thank you